Well, the holiday season is officially coming to a close, and you may be wondering what to do with your tree now. The season is wrapping up. In today's Flashback Friday, we go back to 1985 and see what one group did to repurpose old trees. Join me as we take a look back. A sure sign that the holidays really are over. Evergreens outliving their usefulness as Christmas trees being hauled away and starting a new life, protecting wildlife from the snow and cold. We stand them up side by side and kind of put them together in a bunch so then they can uh, be stacked piled and so the animals can run underneath them so they can uh, find shelter when it snows real hard and stuff like this. While there may not be a lot of snow to keep the animals safe from this winter, it was a different story last year. Last year, uh, we had a uh, haul at about uh, three blocks from the pickups. And the snow was about three foot deep and banks uh, five, six foot high. And we just had an awful time. We was really wore out last year when we did it, though. Are you wore out this year? No, this is fun this year. <laughs> Shorty Baumgard is one of many volunteers from the Isaac Walton League taking part in the annual tree collection. It's a lot of hard work, but everyone involved has a good time. We just make little places for the little critters, and they enjoy it, and I, we hope anyway. <laughs> Perry Groton, Kelloland News. Hey, I know that guy. <laughs> to see more stories from our archive, head to kelloland.com and search for Flashback yeah. Friday. I think that program also had a little benefit because they put it along the roadway so it acted as this kind of a windbreak for oh, drivers. Oh, sort of a buffer then. Yeah, kind oh, of a okay. buffer, yeah. So they were thinking green way back in the day. Way back in 1980. <laughs> That's right.